This is Justin Case of American Newscape joining our friend Sarah Wisdom bringing you Yuma County Library Happenings. Sarah rejoins us to keep us up to speed on our libraries. Hello, Sarah. Hello, how are you? Good, welcome back to American Newscape. Thank you, I hope everybody watching had a, a nice Thanksgiving. It's been a crazy year, but there's always things to be thankful for. Absolutely, so what's happening at the libraries? Well, a couple of things that I wanted to let people know about. Um, first of all, earlier this year, we announced that we were eliminating late fines and several people wondered, well, what's going to happen to the Food for Fines program then? Every year we would hold an opportunity for people to pay off late fines by bringing in uh, canned food that we would donate. Well, we've eliminated late fines, but we definitely still wanted to uh, hold the food drive. So we are uh, hosting this year, it's just a food drive, not food for fines, because there are no fines anymore. But you can bring in non-perishable food to donate. Uh, we started Monday, November 30th, and we will host it through Saturday, December 12th. And then all the food that we've collected will go to a local food bank or assistance agency in the uh, community that the, the branch library is located in. So things that are donated in Summerton will go to an agency in Summerton. Welton will go to Welton and so on and so forth. How cool is that? Some good things persevere. Yes, yes. We definitely wanted to keep that, that element of the the food for fines. Now it's just food for a good cause. So cool. definitely wanted to keep that doing. All right. <laughs> also wanted to let people know about citizen science kits that were recently uh, given to the Welton Library and the Heritage Library. This is part of a grant from the Arizona State Library that provides physical kits that families can check out to do different experiments. And there are several different subjects. Um, Welton has, let's see, it's uh, measuring air pollution, hunting for zombies, which I didn't know was a thing, uh, but it's 2020, so anything's possible, I guess. <laughs> and our Heritage Library has uh, measuring light pollution. Um, so when you're trying to view the, the night sky and, and see what planets and constellations are visible, but you can't quite see it because the closer you live to a city, the more light pollution there is. They actually have a device that measures the light pollution. So the kits are geared towards ages approximately six to 13, but they're, they can easily be done uh, as a family. So it's an opportunity to do something together and you can check out the kits from the Walton Library and then the one from the Heritage Library. So um, another opportunity to do something as a family while staying at home. Well, I, I assume if you feel the need to hunt zombies for, in Yuma, you can you can travel to Welton and check out these kids. <laughs> and the other thing, I you, one thing the libraries are famous about is their uh, uh, stargazing opportunities at the Foothills Library. Yes, yes, we haven't been able to do that in a while, and I know it is sorely missed because it was just a great event every month. We had people who would come and talk about what was visible in the night sky during this time period and telescopes that were provided by the Friends of the Foothills Library. So that's definitely a program we're looking forward to uh, starting again once once it's safe. Well, maybe the Friends of the Foothills Library can muster up some of those uh, star stargazing children and get them down to the Heritage Library and check out some of these uh, cool science kits. That could be. We, we are all about collaboration. So exactly. anything's possible. <laughs> Last but not least, I want to let you know that not only do the libraries provide copies of the Consumer Reports magazine and buying guides, we also provide access online to consumerreports.org. If you're not familiar with Consumer Reports, it is a terrific resource for researching items, uh, particularly big ticket items before you buy them. They, they compare and contrast. Um, and I didn't realize this until recently that Consumer Reports is a nonprofit organization. They do not accept any advertising dollars. They buy all the products 
metrics that they test. So they're really trying to be as objective as possible. So if you're in the market for, gosh, anything from a household appliance to a new car this holiday season, Consumer Reports really has terrific information you should check out. And uh, as I said, not only do we have the magazines and buying guides, you can access it online through our website, yumalibrary.org. If you go to our resources page and scroll down, there's actually a box that says Consumer Reports and uh, it has a search bar in it. And you can type in a product, a service, um, even search terms like we recently had Black Friday. You could type in Black Friday deals and find out which stores were offering which sale. So it is just a tremendous resource any time of the year, but especially this time of year. Very, very cool. And uh, this has been Justin Case and Sarah Wisdom sharing Yuma County Library happenings. Thanks for joining us. Remember additional information and links are provided in this video's read more. Today's the day to subscribe to this channel and please support libraries and librarians everywhere. <laughs>